you, let's say uh, you're living, for example, we're using Sweden. I talked to a couple of newcomers today from Denmark and Sweden. And uh, so uh, back in the day where, where you were living, it, it was a village. And now it's a town, it's a city, it's got internet, it's got freeways, you can go back and forth quickly. But back in the day, you had to travel a long time to get to a major port or to Copenhagen or to get to Gothenburg. Gothenburg then was a big deal for anything in its surrounding uh, in, the, in that part of the country. Or, so naturally you would develop relationship with people and you had to take your time and it had to go deeper because you didn't have a lot of choices. So, and the mentality of back in the day was, of course, based on the belief system, and a lot of it was based on religion, uh, that you marry one person and you're gonna stay with this person till death uh, takes you apart. And it was a curse. You could not separate from someone. You could not divorce them. And uh, it was just not acceptable. It wasn't something people would do. And you would be looked at as a second class citizen or someone unstable or unreliable. And it would be a curse to the tribe. We're talking about like 100 years ago. And even to maybe 50s, early 60s, till there was the uh, a revolution that started to happen. But that's how it was looked at. And naturally, the mind was not really wandering around and was not, didn't know about quick, tack, 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 this person, that person. And you, of course, you didn't have internet and you didn't have availability of having access to thousands of different websites. You can meet people from all kinds of walks and uh, they're available and you can click and talk to them and get information, send pictures, communicate um, in whatever age, you know, there's websites for single Christian ladies, websites for single Muslim men, there's websites for whatever, you know, meet, meet Jewish men, women, or whatever it is that you like, it's there. And you can tap into it. And it's fast and you go through different people's profiles and no, yes, no, yes, this one, I'll send a message. So everything is quick. Everything is fast food. So the relationships are fast food too. So- Yes. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm stopping you. It seems like your Facebook is, the, is not yeah, yeah. broadcasting. Yeah. I, you know, it's an issue, fundamental problem I have where I am. So okay. our energy is not very well here. So okay. yeah, thank you. thanks for telling me. Yeah, people are just writing to me, you know, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So, um, so this is so you you must understand you have to look at it like okay it everything evolved and changed you know as you can see life is fast and same as relationships now that's only one part that's just about the romantic relationship and also what, I mean, you can go through other relationships, the way you meet people and friends, uh, co-workers that you're meeting. Everything is fast, everything is quick. 
So and the way I see it, also we have to and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep dissecting this deeper and deeper. And it's gonna it's gonna clear a lot of things for you, for all of us to understand this whole relationship thing. And right now, basically, I'm focusing on a romantic relationship. But what I'm saying, you can apply it to pretty much any relationship once you understand the fundamentals of it, and you get it like how it, it's working. A part of this relationship thing is also culturally is how we've been programmed to believe in things. It's a belief system as well. It's a religious belief system. A lot of it is based on control and a lot of it is an illusion and it's not real. So because number one is you have to understand everything in time space has a duration. It appears, it rises, and it falls. So there's a rise, and then there's a fall. And that is with anything. Nothing in this life is going to last. Nothing in this life is going to be forever. So same as relationships. They appear and they disappear. Now, I'm not saying that there are no cases of a couple staying together or a couple people, whether they're straight or gay or whatever. And I'm not saying they're not going to stay together forever. Yeah, it happens. But it's becoming more rare. It's a rarity these days. And that rarity is very much based on the technology and the era we're, we're in with also consideration of the disillusion of religious belief too. And that cultural pressure that was on us that if you got married to somebody, you have to stay with them all of your life and you're stuck. And all of those belief systems started to crumble and kind of disappear and become meaningless as time goes forward. The naturally, because you have a lot of options and the time has speeded up, naturally you have to go through quick relationships. That's what is happening. It's not even a choice that you're making. It's just a part of the era of what is going on. Everything is fast. Boom, 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 boom. So that's, that's one part of it. Another part of it that we need to look at is that how from childhood we have been conditioned and I'm not saying anybody did it purposely. This is something which has been happening ever since the ever since, okay? That we get brainwashed and we get programmed by our A, parents, B, our schooling, C, our environment where we're living, the government, the media, the television, movies, internet, and everything is designed to create this thing that love and acceptance is something that you get from the outside. And something you have to fight for and something you have to earn. 